hi everyone i hope you have done well on csir june 2019 chemical sciences here we are analyzing part c inorganic problem watch the video completely to get correct answer with analysis okay right just look at the given problem among the following reactions those that are possible in liquid ammonia are so here we have given with kno3 reacting with silver chloride producing kcl plus silver nitrate so simply it is a precipitation reaction and it is uh, uh, simply possible in liquid ammonia so first reaction is the uh, co the correct reaction and where that reaction is happening in the liquid ammonia okay uh, next one ammonium bromide and uh, knh2 potassium amide so resulting kbr plus 2 nh3 so here you can see salt formation observed here so salt uh, formation reactions are also possible in liquid ammonia so second reaction is also correct one so that is happening in that uh, liquid ammonia and uh, third one iron pentacarbonyl so here reduction of uh, uh, transition metal complexes are very common in liquid ammonia okay and in the presence of uh, metals like uh, sodium okay so whenever those metals are present the reduction of those uh, inorganic uh, um, transition metal carbonyls are common and here this reaction is also possible in liquid ammonia so first option where all the reactions are possible in uh, liquid ammonia we know that liquid ammonia uh, is a non aqueous solvent and uh, r2 is into nh2 minus and nh3 plus okay all the reactions are possible in liquid ammonia so first option is the correct answer for given problem next one the cations formed upon uh, dissolving tin tetrafluoride and uh, rm trifluoride in liquid ammonia so here brf3 boron trifluoride separately uh, respectively or so we know that brf3 is non aqueous solvent and it ionizes into r2 ionizes into brf2 minus and brf4 plus okay and here tin tetrafluoride whenever uh, taken in liquid uh, brf3 it produces brf2 plus solvent cation and at the same time we can get a tin f6 minus 2 okay so simply here the first uh, whenever we take a tin tetrafluoride in brf3 produces brf2 plus and at the same time whenever we take our if rm trifluoride that is auf3 in liquid ammonia it also produces brf2 plus and auf4 minus okay so simply here the correct answer is brf2 plus okay right and that means third option is the correct answer for a given problem and next question a possible structure of the intermediate involved in the following reaction is so here we have given with uh, different uh, just look at here uh, iron complex and just observe it first we need to look at the total valency electron count so here y plus 5 13 plus 1 14 plus 4 so 18 electrons are present on the given iron complex that's why here simply first step is migrate migration takes place and in the second step insertion takes place okay so here the possibility that uh, third option where the first step uh, one of one of the carbonyl ligand vacant its position okay and it inserts in between the methyl and iron okay methyl ligand and iron and formation of ch3 c double bond like this and in the in the uh, vacant site the new ligand triphenyl pospin going to attack and we can get the final product so here the impossible intermediate is the third one where we can see the car one of the carbonyl ligand uh, just give vacant site for incoming nucleophile and that co inserted in between iron and uh, methyl ligand okay so third option is the correct answer for given given problem thank you very much